Hey guys, Outdoor Prepper, welcome back to the channel. I am getting a ton of questions about this Predator 11,500 watt generator and its runtime on propane. So what I wanna do today <clears throat> is I wanna power it on propane until it is exhausted of fuel and the tank is empty. And I'm gonna put a 2,000 watt load on this. And the reason I'm gonna do 2,000 is because on propane, the running wattage is about 8,100. So 25% of that is gonna be roughly 2,000, a little over 2,000 watts. But between my space heater and this high wattage light bulb, I'm gonna be at about 2,000 watts. And from that run, from that wattage and runtime, you can then calculate your load as your load is either higher or lower. Now, as I made a mistake in a previous video with a smaller generator, I never weighed the tank. So I have my trusty propane tank scale here, and I'm gonna to link to this in the description if you're interested. It's a really great scale, and we're gonna see the exact weight of this tank before we start this test. And this tank is independently filled. It is not one of those exchange tanks like the Blue Rhino or the Powerco tanks. I have this filled at my local propane dealer. So they fill this basically until it's almost 20 pounds of propane or until the OPD device turns off. Um, one thing I wanna point out with this generator that I found a little concerning in the manual, and we're obviously gonna test this today, Harbor Freight says you should use a minimum of a 40 pound propane tank with this generator to prevent the tank from icing up and restricting the flow of propane. Now most folks don't have 40 pound propane tanks. They have typical barbecue 20 pound tanks or they have the 30 pound tank. So I have a 30 pound tank, but I really wanna test this on the 20 pound because I think this is gonna be the tank that most folks are gonna to wanna to use. Now I'm estimating that this tank should be okay because I have other similarly sized generators that can work on 20 pounds. And I think it's not going to ice up, but my plan here, if I see that the tank starts to look like it's starting to ice up a little bit, I'm gonna move it kinda of to the side here because this is where the exhaust is from the generator. And I'm gonna have the tank a safe distance, but I want some warm air to blow on the tank that way it can keep it from icing up if that becomes a concern. And then that is obviously something that you could do if you're running the tank in cold weather. Now today the outside temperature is roughly 45, 40, 48 degrees. Um, so let's do this, let's pull the camera in. I'm gonna show you the tear weight on the tank and how you can determine what your tank's tear weight is. And that's basically the weight of the tank empty. And then a full tank should have roughly 20 pounds of propane in it. So it should be the tear weight plus 20 and that should be full. And this gauge right here is going to tell us the weight of this tank right now with the propane in it. As long as it's basically close to the weight of the tank plus 20, we should be good. Give or take a pound is not gonna be a problem. But a Blue Rhino tank or a Powerco tank, those are usually only 75% full, so you are kind of getting gypped a little bit on the propane. Let's pull the camera in and take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so coming down to the side of the tank here, we can see TW18, so that means the tear weight is 18 pounds. So this tank is, if it was empty, it would be 18 pounds. So with 20 pounds of propane in this tank, it should be 38 pounds. So let's basically take a look and see what this tank weighs now that there's propane in it. This right here is my propane scale. And again, I'm gonna link this in, the, uh, in this video and I really recommend you pick one of these up. It's about 19 bucks, I got it on Amazon. And this is very, very helpful, especially when you're trying to run a generator on propane or even a barbecue and you wanna know more accurately how much fuel your tank has. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little hook right here, hook it up to the tank and lift the tank. It's going to beep and tell me that it's taken the measurement. So here we go, and I'll, I'll hold this up to the camera in just a second so we can see what the screen says. All right. So this tells us that we're at 36.8 pounds, whereas 38 would be totally full. Uh, and it does give you a little gauge on the left-hand side and it shows you an F. So this tank is pretty darn full. I mean, it could actually go another uh, one one point two pounds, but I'm pretty happy uh, with the volume that's inside this tank right now. If we were weighing a Blue Rhino tank, we'd probably be at like 34 pounds, 33 pounds. Um, so we're much better here with the independent propane filler. Now it's just after 11 a.m. Let's call it 11, it's 11.06, but let's just say it's 11 o'clock. Um, so I wanna get this test started right away because I don't know exactly how long this is gonna run for but my best guess is that we're going to be running for maybe six to eight hours. Uh, and if we can get that out of a tank, I'm actually going to be really happy. Uh, we'll call that a success. Now, if the tank ices up and we stall out at 
let's say three hours or four hours, then I'm going to be really not happy, and that's going to be a total fail. So let's see what happens here. I'm taking the tank. I've hooked it up to the tank. I've now plugged the regulator, and that's it's actually a really easy regulator to plug in, or quick connect, I should say, to plug in. I've had other generators where it's much more difficult. I just want to give a little uh, stretch here to the hose so nothing gets pinched. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Now, I've got the space heater plugged in already and the, the high-power light bulb plugged in. And we're going to be taxing this outlet, basically, because, like I said, I want to get 2,000 watts, which I've calculated we will get. Uh, just so you guys know for the test here, we're going to keep eco mode on, tank is full, space heater is going to be on high, light's going to be on, and we're just going to let this run until it stalls out. And what I will do is I will come out here every once in a while and check in on it. I'll give you an update. We'll take a look at the tank, see if it's icing up. So let's go ahead and start this. Tank is open. Power switch is on. Devices are currently off. And uh, like I said, we'll do some updates along the way. It's probably going to take two times to start uh, because we do have to kind of bleed the air from the line. Started right up. Oh, I guess I had the light on. Um, another thing that maybe we'll do uh, when we come out and check on this, I'll take the decibel reader out and we'll check the decibel reading under load because I know a lot of folks have commented they want to see kind of what the decibel is as we're under load. So light is on. Let me just get my phone off of here so it doesn't vibrate off. We're going to bring the space heater up to high. All right, space heater is on high. Everything is looking okay. And let's come back in about an hour or so, and we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at the tank, and we'll get a decibel reading. Hey guys, we are back. It is 2.15, so a little longer than I was planning, uh, but I kind of got a little busy. So it's been running for three hours and six minutes, and I came over and I felt the propane tank, and the tank was getting really cold. So what I did was I just moved it a little bit alongside, although I will tell you the exhaust is kind of high, so it's not entirely hitting the tank. Uh, and then I did take the space heater, just backing up a little bit so you can hear me more clearly. And I aimed it at the tank about a foot away. I think the tank is now not freezing cold anymore, so it seems to, uh, between the exhaust and the space heater, it seems like it's uh, keeping it right temperature. I think I'm probably going to buy a tank heater just so I have one in case I need to use it in the winter. It's basically like an electric blanket that goes around the tank and you can plug it in. Because uh, if I'm using this in like 20 degree weather, I may want that. Uh, but it's been running fine. Like I said, three hours, no issue. Um, let's, let's use the scale. Let's see what we're at weight wise. And I don't know how accurate this is going to be right now because we've got the regulator hooked up to it. But let's, uh, let's get a little rough idea. idea we're at 30.9 pounds uh, probably on the lower side because again lifting it up we're also lifting up the hose and the regulator so 30.9 we were at 30 uh, 36.9 I think earlier so let's just keep it going okay guys we're coming up on four hours and 35 minutes uh, it is 344 now and still running I checked the tank. Uh, the tank is actually not that cold. Everything seems to be doing okay. Uh, as I said on our last check-in, I positioned the tank kind of in front of the exhaust, but a safe distance away. And I've got a space heater, which is the load, uh, along with that powerful light, uh, kind of aimed at the tank. The tank seems to be fine. It does not appear to be frosting up. Uh, and as I mentioned before, I am going to buy a tank heater blanket just in case I do need to run this in the really cold. Well, let's do a uh, let's do two things. We're going to check the decibel and let's zero out our scale here. We were last at 30.9. Now we're zeroed out again. Let's see where we are at like four and a half hours. So we are 
26.9 pounds. That's not bad. That means we've used about half a tank, roughly, uh, and we've been going, like I said, for four and a half hours. So, in theory, we should get about nine hours, which would be really, really good, but I'm not quite sure we'll make it to nine, uh, but maybe we'll make it to eight. Let's, uh, we'll find out. Well, let's go ahead now. We're gonna get my top test meter, and again, I'm gonna leave a link to this. I love this meter. Uh, it's, I use it in all my videos, and it's just a really nice meter. I'm gonna back up, you know, because we are under load. We're at quarter load, but that's, you know, how I'm going to test this because that's how the manufacturer rates it. So I want to know how accurate that is and if we're actually going to get the runtime that they say we will. Let's, I'm going to stop talking. Let's look at the meter. So we're at roughly 67, 68 decibels. Uh, I am roughly about 18 feet or so away. Uh, I probably could back up a little bit more, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay guys, it's almost five o'clock. We are coming up on six hours, just about, and still chugging away. Uh, the next update's gonna be at six o'clock, and at six o'clock we might call the test for the rest of the night, only because I do have dinner plans, and I don't know how long this is gonna take, but let's take a look at the propane gauge. We were at 26.9 pounds the last time. I've zeroed it out. Let's see, let's see where we are this time. And I will tell you, the tank is not frozen at all. It is not frosted up. I think putting it near the exhaust was a really good thing for it. All right, this shows we're at 24 pounds. So we obviously are dropping fuel, um, but we're still there. So if the tear weight is 18, 19, 20, so we've got six pounds, theoretically, six pounds of propane still in this tank. Well, like I said, I'm weighing it with the regulator and the hose attached, so I'm sure that's throwing it off. So again, we are coming up on uh, six hours of running. Let's check back in in another hour and see where we're at. Okay guys, it's a little after six o'clock. We are coming up on seven hours. And so basically we started this test just after uh, 11. Now it's just after six, or after uh, six and we're coming up on, like I said, seven hours. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and feel the tank right now. And then we're gonna weigh it as well. feels pretty much like it's uh, getting close to empty. So I'm turning off the loads here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let it idle down for a second. And I'm going to zero out the scale again. The scale is zeroed out. I'm actually going to disconnect it from the generator and turn it off uh, and weigh the tank. I'm very impressed with seven hours runtime. I was expecting about six. Go ahead. I was expecting about six, so seven hours was really good um, at a sustained 2,000 watt load, which is 20% on propane. Now again, you'll get a little more power on gasoline, a little less on natural gas. So we know the tear weight of this tank is 18 pounds. So let's let's go ahead and weigh this tank and see, see where we're at. And I'll hold this up in front of the camera as well. Okay, it just beeped. And let's come over to the camera. And we're at 20.5 pounds. So we still have another uh, two and a half pounds of propane in that tank. And, you know, we'll probably get another, uh, at least another hour. So I think it's very safe to say that we're probably going to get at least eight hours of runtime on this generator uh, with a standard 20 pound barbecue tank. Okay guys, I know it's dark outside, but like I said, I think it's safe to say you're gonna get about eight hours on one of these propane tanks. We got seven and we still have two and a half pounds of propane left. There's a really important thing I wanna uh, mention though. Harbor Freight said you should not use a 20 pound. They said you should use a minimum of a 40 pound uh, to prevent icing. I wanna prove that we didn't need to. This worked just fine. Space heater actually did very little because it is too far from the tank. When you put your hand in front of the heater, up against the tank, you really couldn't even feel it. But the exhaust, I definitely think helped. The exhaust, I had this about two and a half feet from the tank, and I think that was really important because it, it didn't heat the tank up at all, but it is just slightly warm, like lukewarm to the touch, which is what I want because it didn't frost up at all. I am, like I said, gonna pick up a tank heater, which is basically like a blanket that goes around the tank and you would plug it in because, you know, right now it's, probably about 45 degrees out, but if it were 10 degrees out, you know, or 15 degrees out, 
then you'd have a real chance of this tank icing up and I'd want to keep it warmer so that it can continue to provide propane to the unit and continue to run it. So I really hope that this test was helpful and now that we've put you know seven hours on the generator the next video and I'll probably not link it but just you know subscribe and you will see it because uh, I haven't made it yet but we're going to change the oil on this now that we've got seven hours and we're going to test that hose to see how easy it is to do. I want to see if there's metal particles in the oil uh, so we'll do a whole video on that and show you how to change it and what it looks like because I hope this was helpful and again I want to reiterate this was at 25% load of the sustained propane rating which is roughly 8,000 watts so we did this at a sustained 2,000 watts and you can do the calculations to check for your individual use cases because I know a million people are going to say well you should have tested it at 5,000 watts or 8,000 watts I wanted a base case scenario and it's very easy just to calculate what my runtime is going to be based on higher loads. Hope this was helpful. Do me a favor, leave some comments, like and subscribe. I'll see you on the oil change video.